One of the main questions I'm always asked here, the fact that we buy and sell jewelry, coins, collectibles, and silver and gold, is what's my sterling silver flatware worth? Now that's not as easy a question to answer as you would think, but it does have an answer on a baseline level. A lot of that depends on the maker, which company made it. There's a lot of makers out there. Higher end makers, of course, like Tiffany, Jensen, would be worth more. But there's Reed and Barton Gorm, there's State House. There's all kinds of makers out there that does play into it. Also, what plays into it is, what pattern is it? The pattern is important because a lot of this silverware is bought and sold by the need of the customers. Is it worth something? Does somebody want it because they have a special pattern? Um, condition is also important. Like what condition is this in? You look at it, is it worn out? Is it uh, scratched up? Has it been down to the garbage disposal? That makes a difference. It also depends on the resale potential, as I said earlier. How many people are willing to buy this and sell this? So basically, we take a look at it and we say, well, I have 10 customers that want it, eh, maybe I'll pay a little bit more. Hey, I have 100 customers that want it, I'm going to pay a lot more for it. So I would give a, you know, a lot of people don't like to hear this, but the weight does play a factor. So it's like when I'm sending emails back to people, I almost am afraid to ask, well, what's the weight of it? Because they think you're going to scrap it out. That's not the case. We definitely need the weight for the calculation, but the weight is not the sole basis. So with all that being said, a lot of people have been sending me emails. If your silverware is just a run of the mill type pattern, average condition, not a special maker, just okay, or monogrammed, it's gonna have a baseline value of about 85% of the silver price. So let's just say silver is at $20 an ounce. That means each piece is gonna be worth about 16 or $17 a piece. Um, better silverware, 100 to 120%, so per piece. So that means if you look at silver and it's $20 an ounce, you can figure your piece of silver, if it's a higher end pattern, is gonna be worth 20 to 22 a piece. The reason I'm not mentioning prices is because silver could change. I'm trying to work on percentages so that this video will last quite a while. Again, special makers, please keep us in mind. Special makers like George Jensen, Tiffany, Bucciolati, those are a must see. I would re definitely recommend sending pictures, all that. There's a lot of foreign silverware out there made in uh, Canada, it's made in Europe, it's made in Germany, it's made in South America. Unfortunately, most of that, 90% of that, is going to be worth the silver value. The good news is a lot of that silverware is actually heavier than the stuff that's made in the United States. So we would definitely need a weight on that because my formulas not, might not work for that. And again, keep in mind a lot of your silver that you're going to have is going to be mixed, a mixture of sterling. Some of it's going to be silver plate and some of it's going to be stainless. The last two just aren't worth anything. Silver plate, stainless, no real value. That was a lot, but I hope that cleared some things up for you. All right, it's been great. A lot of information, a lot of questions answered. Remember, this is all off the cuff. So if you have specific questions, please feel free to email us, text us, call us. Remember, include any pictures, dimensions. The more information you give us, the better we can do to get you information back. Keep in mind, it may take 24 to 48 hours to get it back to you, but we'll do the best we can. And of course, we want to buy the merchandise, but there's no charge for any of the information we give, and there's no expectations. So feel free with, any, with no pressure to get us any questions. Thank you very much.